Hey everybody, I'm Delicia, and today I thought I would address um, a kind of simple issue that I hadn't done before. <laughs> so after several requests and then after looking through my inventory of videos, um, I realized that I do not have one on how to relight and bleed your butane lighters. So I thought I would do one today. Kind of a quick one, very informal. This is just what I do, and again, I'm not into the whole scientific definition of like how much percentage of gas and all that. I'm just gonna straight up tell you what I do. And then I'm sure that because it's informal, I'll probably have skipped a step, but I'm hoping that I didn't. <laughs> so um, as you know, I'm notorious for either not having lighters with me. If you've ever seen me at an event, I'm probably bumming a light off of you because I, I'm just bad about remembering to carry my lighters with me. They're always in a different purse or a drawer or something. And I have a huge variety of lighters, but again, I, I don't always have them with me. Um, and then also on videos that I do at home, you guys have seen me where it runs out of um, butane or whatever, and it just goes out halfway. So um, I, I refuel them often, refuel them often. <laughs> I refuel them often. So. Um, this is what I do. First off, I would recommend getting a good butane. Uh, definitely don't want to pick up like a, you know, cheaper one, I guess is the right word. I don't know. I know they sell butane, I think at like hardware stores. I wouldn't recommend that. I would definitely go to a cigar lounge or Zycar place, um, go to a website that carries Zycar fuel. Calibri also has a fuel, um, but just get something that ha that's been you know, refined a little bit and doesn't have, um, you basically want to get rid of any of the um, impurities and stuff because they'll clog up your lighters basically. So that's kind of the point. If you're using a, a cheaper fuel, um, it's kind of like the gasoline thing. So you definitely will notice a difference with your lighters and again, trial and error. So I'm trying to save you from that headache um, because the lighters, depending on which ones you use, they can get pricey. So we definitely want to make sure we're taking care of them. So I brought a couple of my lighters out today to refuel and to bleed. And the other thing I'll mention really quick is that you should have a tool to bleed your lighters. Okay. I do see um, a lot of people out there that will use various objects to push the little thingy down in there and, or the little spring valve to let the air out of their lighters. And again, while, if you're in a pinch and that's all you have and you're trying to get the air out of your lighter before you refill it, fine, but try not to make a habit of it. Again, you can damage your lighters. They're not always super cheap. Um, and anyways, it's just a good practice to have a little tool. So you could pick up a tool like this. This is actually meant for bleeding your lighters. It's really neat. I discovered them not too long ago. It's from cigarprop.com. If you haven't heard of them, give them a, a shout out, you know, check out their website, cigarprop.com. They have a lot of different little toys on there for your cigar needs, and I like them. They have this one, which is a keychain you can pop on, and again, it's a fun little tool. It is designed with bleeding your lighters in mind. Um, prior to this, I always used the Zycar scissors. I have a pair and it has the little poker tool that you can push down on it. The difference, and I, I guess, again, investing in something like this, which is, I believe this will run you 12 to 15 bucks. So it's not going to, you know, break your wallet. It's definitely a good investment. It's a great gift for somebody, you know, that, you know, smokes regularly because it's a tool that mm, you should have and you'll use often. But what I like about this is I don't think there's any butane left in this one. I think they're both empty. But if you did have, um, you know, some, let's say you had some cheap butane in your lighter you wanted to completely purge and get rid of, you would, you know, use this a little bit more or again, for the excess air. As you get it in there and you push down, this has some air, you can hear the air. Um, there's two little holes on either side of this little tool and it, you know, lets, it lets the air or if there was any butane left, it comes out kind of like sideways versus the little poker tool that I was using before that you push it and it just spews kind of back up at you. So there's a little bit of a difference. If you're somebody that's really, really meticulous and you wrap your stuff in a towel, this is also great because again, it's going to blow out sideways, which is nice. Um, you always want to use, or I'm sorry, bleed your lighters in a well ventilated area. Don't do it in a small confined space. 
don't um, open flame, like don't try your lighter out next to your can of butane. Um, seen that happen more times than one. You would not believe how often, um, especially at cigar lounges, when I see them refueling the lighters, it's like, doesn't dawn on them to not open the flame right next to the, um, what is the word, uh, you know, the aerosol can. <laughs> it's kind of like scary. Anyways, um, so yeah, so this is a thing. Basically, to bleed your lighter, you're gonna put a tool. Hopefully you have one of these. If not, yes, you could use a lead pencil, kind of like mechanical. I've seen somebody use that. Uh, screwdriver tip, I mean, whatever, sharp object. But again, trying to get the tool because it's worth it. Um, and you just upside down, try and get the excess uh, air out of there. You've all seen it happen with the flames when you go and it kind of either it boo, you know, busts out like this huge tip of the flame that's like a crazy air pocket or you get the gaps when you're trying to light it that kind of sputter. Um, that's again, just that, that compressed air that's in there that you want to try and get out as much as you can. So now, I don't know if you can hear it, but there is nothing, it is gone. So that's kind of, if you want to really, um, I don't do it every month. I know people recommend like purging and um, bleeding your lighters every month. I, I don't sit around and do that, I just don't. But I do do it when I go to re refuel them. So it's a good time to, to do that. So I have this other um, lighter here. This is a Zycar Triple Flame. I love this one, it's a gunmetal, really heavy duty. It can bang around all over the place. It has a clip on it. Um, what I like about it is you can adjust the settings for the flame really easy. You don't have to have like a little screwdriver to adjust it. And by the way, before you go to refuel, you wanna turn the flame down to its lowest setting so that when you do go to turn it back on to test the flame out, um, it doesn't you know, blow up in your face or singe your eyebrows. That's not very pleasant, funny story, but you know, not very pleasant. And then this other lighter that I was playing with, if you didn't notice, this is a Rocky Patel dual flame torch lighter. Probably my favorite lighter, um, or very much on the top five of favorite lighters, just because one, it's really pretty and it comes in a variety of colors. And two, I've had it forever. I've had it for like, not forever, maybe five years, maybe six years. I got it from Nish Patel. And it's just really been, um, very efficient and it always works for me. I don't have issues with it. Uh, I can't say the same about some other lighters. In fact, I kind of gave up on this lighter here. This is a, a Prometheus, super expensive, uh, heavy duty, supposedly lighter. And I was so disappointed that I've had nothing but problems with it. I would never buy another Prometheus lighter. Just not for me. So Zycar, Calibri, I like them. Um, again, this Rocky Patel, I love these. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same that I just did to that one and just bleed the air out of this one. You can hear it, hopefully. So this thing is down. And then this one also has a little gauge on it, which is nice. I like, again, the versatility with this lighter is great. You can adjust the settings super easy for the flame size. And then you have the little window so you can see when you're running low on fuel. You can tell when you're um, refilling it really easily when it's at the max. You can take the air and then add more to it as you go, things like that. Whereas this one, um, the other, the Rocky Patel does not have a, oh, this thing is spinning around. It does not have a little window gauge so that you can see when it's full or when it's out. So you just have to gauge it on, you know, the flame itself, which is, you know, it's doable. So you take your lighter with the uh, little tool, or I'm sorry, the little spring loaded refill zone <laughs> up facing the ceiling. So upside down, you take your can, you do not need to shake it and you turn your can upside down and you secure it in there so that it's, you know, not going to flop around and you try to get it as straight as possible. And then um, again, this one has the little window so I can look at it, or you could just count, you know, a couple seconds and just do like a, you know, one, two, three. This one is showing a little bit past the halfway point. Wait another couple seconds, give it another little one, two, three. This one is almost to the top full. So actually what I would do with this is, 
um, because I have the little window and I can see, I would just kind of see if there's any little bit of air I could get out. Just not, not a, a hard push, just like a quick little, just to kind of see if I can get any of the little air. Again, that's kind of like taking it a little bit extra step. You don't really have to do all that, but um, you just want to there. So this thing is completely full and I'm not going to light it right away. One, you can tell just by touching it, it's cold. You don't really want to do that when it's cold. So you can, if you're in a hurry, you can keep it in your hand and kind of warm it up or you could just set it aside and be patient and wait a couple minutes um, while you refuel your next lighter. Um, but again, the ideal thing is you would like to uh, get the temperature to be like room temperature before you go to spark up your flame. And you're gonna do the same thing with this upside down with the lighter. Okay, here's the bottom, here's the little hole. Get the tube, I don't need to shake it, putting it right in there. And this one does not have a little window gauge, so I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did and just do like a three second little push, let go, wait a few seconds, do it again. You could, this one actually will let me know because it'll push back when it's pretty full. But some lighters don't do that, it just depends on the lighter. But um, yeah, so you just give it the little push. Wait a minute, not a minute, a couple seconds, and then do it again. And then I'm gonna do it one more time. And uh, voila. Now again, I know this lighter because I've had it a long time, so I know kind of when it's full, but that's, a, that's roughly like most lighters. It'll be, you know, maybe two to three little couple second pumps to, you know, get it full. And then again, you're, you're letting it uh, sit for a second. You're not putting it next to the butane can when you are testing your flame. And then this one again is on the lowest setting. I'm gonna pop the cap and then just kinda. So this one is not lighting, but now I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. That's awesome. So I've actually had some trouble with this lighter and I was hoping that bleeding it completely and taking all the air out of it and refilling it, that it would fix it. But let's see if it did. Because I love this lighter, but for whatever reason, I mean, you watched, I took everything out. There was zero air. Um, it was completely empty and now I refilled it and it was showing full. And I have it now at the highest setting. And it's not, it's not sparking and I'm so sad. And this is a Zycar lighter and I, it was working fine, but before I've even done this, it was starting to do that. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to send it in. It's so sad, but it happens. You know, we go through lighters. So let's check this one. Same technique, same everything, did the same exact process, took the air out, refueled it and now this one this is on the lowest setting by the way so so now I'm going to turn it up a little bit okay so that's on the highest setting you can see the dual flame there But as you can see, no air pockets, um, solid flame. Sadly, my Zycar lighter, I, I don't know. I don't, it's like I've tried the different settings. I don't know why. And this, this isn't the first time that this has happened. But again, I tried to do it to where, um, you know, you guys watched me. I took it all the way out, bled it, and there's full tank of stuff in there. And it's just not not lighting up again so i don't know i don't know what the deal is with some of the lighters but it happens and um i guess i guess that's why we go through it a lot i'd love to hear your feedback um you know what's been your favorite lighter what's been your go-to i aside from my little rocky patel lighter i tend to grab a lot of the little uh jetline lighters and they seem to work really well again um Zycar makes some cool stuff. I like their cutters quite a bit, but I've had some 
some iffy circumstances with the lighters. This is not the first one that's done that, but again, um, I wish I had a better reason. I don't know why it's just, it's just not, um, not wanting to do it. I've tried all these different settings. And again, I'm so sad because I love the looks of this lighter, but functionality is really what it's about. You can have an ugly, funky looking lighter. If it works, it works. So that's that. Um, anyways, I'd love to answer more questions if you have them hear your feedback. Um, hopefully I addressed how to refill your lighter, how to bleed it, all that fun stuff. And then again, check out my friends over at cigarprop.com. Pick up your little tools um, so that you can properly bleed your lighters. So thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Cheers.